Hey my friends, I thought it'd be interesting to look at the quality of eggs out there these days. So these 10 from Iceland cost me £1.50, whereas these 10 from Morrison's cost me £4.10. So shall we see if these Clarence Court Burford Browns are worth almost three times the amount? So the cheaper non-free range eggs, don't say much about them really in here, but just say they are quality eggs laid by British hens vaccinated against salmonella. Whereas there's a whole spiel about these eggs on the inside of this lid. And down the bottom it says, they are roaming free on acres of England's green and pleasant land. Okay, let's grab one out of each box and have a closer look. We can see that the difference with the exterior of these eggs it's very clear. We have this lighter coloured economy egg with some pink writing. And then we have this deep brown quality egg with green writing. There are many ways to cook eggs. And today I'm going to use one of my preferred ways, which is frying them up in some olive oil. So here they are my friends, straight out of the frying pan. They've both taken on a nice brown edge and the albumen seems to have held together nicely. Okay, let's open them up so they're like inside. Economy egg first. It has a nice enough kind of yellowy orange yolk coming out of it and a bit runny and a bit firm is how I like them. Now the quality egg. I think we can safely say that this yolk looks far better than this one. Just look at that deep orange action. The yolk on this is kind of medium thick and the yolk on this one is similar but feels a little bit creamier. Closer up we can see the clear difference between the posh one and the cheap one. In fact we just need a green one down here to make some eggy traffic lights. So I've got to get involved. Okay, I'm going to start with the white bits. Economy egg first. Right, here we go. Nice flavour. Yeah, the crispy edge always helps. You can taste the fact that it's white. It's not tasteless at all. All right, let's try the posh white. I'll be honest, there's not much difference in flavour between the whites. I thought there might be. It was a tiny bit firmer, that's all. Now let's try that cheap yolk. No complaints, decent yolky flavor held together nicely. There's no like runny bits anywhere. Okay, let's try the posh yolk. Oh yeah. Now there's where the difference lies between these two eggs, seriously. That yolk has got a lovely flavor about it and there's a deeper flavour about it and a creamier flavour about it. I'm just going to try them salted because I never have fried eggs without salt. Economy first. Perfectly fine. Isn't it amazing how salt really jazzes a fried egg up? Okay, let's see what it's done to the quality egg. Oh, it's made that taste magnificent. Do you know what? I was quite surprised by the results of that test. If I was trying these blind and I was to give the Clarence egg, say, 10 out of 10, I'd certainly give that thing an 8 out of 10 to the last bite. Mm. So, fried eggs, quality egg versus economy egg. It surprised me that that experiment. I would buy these now and again as a treat because they are a little bit better, but I wouldn't buy them regularly. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't think they're worth almost three times the amount of the price of these eggs. Interesting. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here.
almost three times as good. From da I can't read it. Because I'd like to see. Ah. Ah. Side by side, they both look to. Ah. Economy egg. Ah. Decent yolky flavour. Relatively. Ah. <laughs> Do you know what? I was quite surprised. Ha ha ha. So, fried eggs. Expensive ones. Is that the expensive one? Yeah. Mm.